Hi everyone, in this session let's explore about artificial intelligence and its importance in biology sector. As you know, artificial intelligence is like teaching a computer to think and make decisions like humans, but by using the data and algorithm instead of human brain. It's always getting machine to do tasks that usually need human intelligence, such as understanding languages, recognizing image and making predictions. Let's try to understand why artificial intelligence is important for biologists. AI is crucial for biologists in various sectors because it can help us to analyze and understand complex biological data more efficiently. Here are a few such examples. AI is playing significant role in genomic sector. AI can analyze DNA sequences to identify genes associated with diseases or predict a person's genetic predispositions. It also plays a vital role in drug discovery. AI can screen millions of chemical compounds to find potential new drugs for diseases. AI is playing a wonderful role in medical imaging. AI can assist in interpreting medical images like X-rays, MRIs and CT scans, helping in earlier disease diagnosis. It is also playing a wonderful role in the omics analysis. AI can predict the function of biological molecules and their interaction in cells, aiding in drug development and understanding of biological system in much deeper way. AI can also analyze large data sets to predict disease outbreaks like COVID-19. In ecological sector, AI can also monitor wildlife population, track migration and predict impact of climate changes on ecosystem. If you talk about the agriculture sector, artificial intelligence can optimize crop yield, detect disease in the plant, and manage resources efficiently. In the neuroscience sector, AI can help us to understand the brain function, helping to understand conditions like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases, etc. If you talk about the behavior science, AI can also help us to analyze behavior data to study human psychology and behavior pattern. It can also play a significant role in environmental conservation. AI can analyze satellite images to monitor deforestation, track the endangered species and manage conservation efforts. So if you are interested in learning AI as a beginner, so here is the roadmap how you can start learning and entering to this sector. Number one is basic understanding of programming. Start to learn programming language like Python. You should also have fundamental knowledge in mathematics. Learn linear algebra, calculus and statistics as they form the foundation of AI. It is also good if you know machine learning. Understand the basic of machine learning algorithm and framework such as PyTorch. If you are a beginner in such sector, you can try with the online courses. There are plenty of courses available in the online platforms. You can also take help from the books so that you can get the understanding of the theoretical and the practical parts. It is also a must to do a lot of practical tasks. Work on small projects, take participation in internship, try to get associated with real projects. If you want to enter the advanced sector, then explore deep learning. Dive deeper into deep learning and neural networks. It is also a good practice if you do specialization. Choose a specific area in AI. For example, computer vision or natural language processing. Very specifically, you can use AI for drug designing, etc. Or maybe AI for bioimaging. Later on, you can switch to advanced courses. Take advanced courses on your chosen specialization. As I mentioned, Molex Informatics and Digibiomic Canada also provide projects and collaborations. So if you are interested, you can contact us and make sure you are doing enough of real-world projects. Work on real-world projects either on your own or through internship or collaboration so you can get a better idea about what is happening in the industry and what kind of skills are required in the job. And lastly, stay updated. As you are witnessing, AI is a rapidly evolving field. So keep learning and stay updated with the latest development. Many of you were also asking whether programming is always required in AI sector and why programming is essential in learning AI. As you know, programming is a fundamental skill that is highly beneficial and often necessary when it comes to AI and AI learning. Here is some of the reasons why programming is important in context to AI. The number one reason is implementing algorithm. To work with AI, you need to implement algorithm. This involves writing code that defines how AI model learn from data. 
make prediction and perform various tasks. Programming languages like Python, R, Julia are commonly used for this purpose. The next reason is customization. As you might be knowing, AI is not a one-size-fits-all solution. You often need to customize AI model and algorithm to fit specific tasks and dataset. And here, programming allows you to tailor AI solution to specific needs. The another reason is debugging and optimization. Programming skills are also crucial for debugging and optimizing AI model. When things go wrong or when you want to improve performance, you will need to understand and modify those codes. The next reason is data pre-processing. In AI, data preparation is a critical step. This involves tasks like cleaning, transforming, and structuring data. This programming is essential for these data pre-processing tasks. The next reason is integration. Integrating AI model into real-world application or systems often require programming. You will need to develop interfaces, APIs, or software component that can communicate with and utilizes AI model. And lastly, for the advanced AI development. If you are interested in advanced AI development, such as creating custom neural network architecture, reinforcement learning environment, or natural language processing model, then in that scenario, programming skills become even more vital. While programming is essential for many aspects of AI, it is also worth noting that there are also user-friendly AI tools and platforms that allows individuals to work with AI without extensive programming knowledge. These tools often provide graphical interface and pre-built AI components, making AI accessible to broader audience. Even with such tools, a basic understanding of programming can still be beneficial for customization and troubleshooting. We also provide trainings in programming. So if you are interested in learning programming language like Python R, you can approach us. So let me introduce you to different types of AI. And prior to that, let's see some of the basic first. So if you talk about the simpler definition of artificial intelligence, Artificial intelligence refers to the development of computer system that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. These tasks include reasoning, problem solving, learning from experience and recognizing patterns. Mostly when you are dealing with AI, many a time you also have to deal with machine learning. It's a subfield of AI. Machine learning involves training algorithms to learn patterns and make predictions or decisions based on data. It commonly used in tasks like image recognition, recommendation system, and natural language processing. So what we understand with the data? Data is a fuel for artificial intelligence. Usually machine learning models require large amount of data to learn and make accurate prediction. This data can be structured example databases or unstructured, for example, text, image or videos. So mostly you have to deal with structured or unstructured data. You should also know the basics about algorithm. AI algorithm are the set of instructions that guide computer in performing specific tasks. This algorithm can range from simple rule-based system to complex neural network. You will often hear the word training. In machine learning, models are trained by exposing them to labor data. During training, the model adjusts its parameter to minimize error and improve its performance. And we should also know about the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning. In supervised learning, the models are trained on the labor data with clear input and output pair. Whereas in unsupervised learning, the model discover pattern and relationship in data without explicit label. Now let's try to understand few of the different types of AI. The number one is narrow AI. This type of artificial intelligence is designed for specific tasks and does not possess general intelligence. For example, this includes the virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa. Then comes your general artificial intelligence. These are a little bit stronger AI, which refers to machine that possess human-like intelligence and can perform a wide range of tasks as effectively as humans. Although such AI does not yet exist and remain a theoretical concept, the other one is machine learning. Machine learning is a subset of AI where algorithms learn from the data to make prediction or decision. It includes techniques like regression, classification, and clustering. The other one is deep learning. 
Deep learning is a subfield of machine learning that uses artificial neural network inspired by human brains. It excels in the task like image and speech recognition. The another one is reinforcement learning. In reinforcement learning, the agent learn to make decision by interacting with an environment. They receive reward or penalty based on their action and helping them to improve over time. It's often used in robotic and game playing. The next one is natural language processing the NLP. NLP focuses on teaching machine to understand, interpret it and generate human languages. The application includes chatbot, language translation and in sentimental and behavior analysis. The next one is computer vision. Computer vision enables machine to interpret it and understand visual information from images and videos. It used in facial recognition, object detection and autonomous vehicles. The next one is expert system. Expert system are AI program designed to mimic the decision making abilities of human experts in a specific domain such as medical diagnosis or financial planning. The next type of application of AI is in the robotic. AI is used in robotic to enable robot to perform tasks autonomously or with the minimum human intervention. Such type of AI application are frequently used in manufacturing, healthcare and space exploration sectors. And lastly, AI application in the healthcare. AI is employed in healthcare for tasks like medical image analysis, drug discovery and patient diagnosis. This helping to improve the health outcome. These are some fundamental concepts and type of AI, but the field is continually evolving and new AI application and technologies are emerging regularly. Remember, AI is a journey that requires patience and continuous improvement. Don't be afraid to seek help from the online communities, forum and practice regularly. I hope you have liked the session. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.